I've been playing a game that everyone else hates today and of the last couple of days, which is uh, The Order 1886, yeah, which is side. possibly one of the most puzzling games I've ever played. I, because I, I haven't I haven't picked this up yet, so um... no, and I wouldn't really. Right, here's the problem with the game. One, I finished it in a sitting, mm. and not a particularly long sitting, and that alone isn't enough to make me hate things because. I can finish uh, Call of Duty for Modern Warfare, the first one. I can finish that in about four and a half hours, and I love that game. It's a brilliant game. Yeah, uh, which not a single player game, by the way. So you know, you, you... well, yeah, it's, it's got. That's what I mean. But it has things past the first playthrough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This game, it's it's four hours all in all. It has, I'm not going to go into the spoilers because it does have a pretty good story. The problem is the pretty good story starts about ten minutes to the end. Right. And then finishes, and then it's like, oh, this is going to be really good. Right. Here, here, I'll break it down. It's too short. Mm -hmm. And it has no replay value. It looks absolutely... Sta it, it's, they delayed it, and you can tell they delayed it, and you can tell that they worked on it, because it, technically it's perfect. It's beautiful looking, it's cinematic, it's atmospheric, the sound design's brilliant, the voice acting's great. Then you play it, and a lot of the times with these kind of games, I leave angry. Mm. And I, it didn't. It wasn't a game that really made me angry, that's the thing. It was a game that made me kind of annoyed the best the best parallel i can think of is uh, metal gear solid five ground zeros okay so th this is one of those games where you're you're saying looks alone it's a 10 looks alone personality it's a, ten wise, looks. It's a deal it's, 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 it's a, a tech demo it's a tech demo that they want 60 dollars 60 pound uh, sorry 60 dollars or like 50 pound for it's right. yeah it's a tech it's a little it's a demo it's it's too short it's not going to assault and it's got proper gameplay problems it's got a hacking mini game in it right it can never quite pick a tone of its gameplay is it a stealth game is it a third person shooter is it a in, you know, like a, a parkour game everything has to be these days mm -hmm. doesn't it have never quite... car, ra car races though does it no i'm sure they're planning that for the second one though. it has a blimp battle at one point but i can't i don't want to spoil the story because it's it's a decent story and i think that if you if you have money to burn or if you can rent it it's a definite rental i'd say that okay uh, if you if you can get hold of it from like a uh, gamefly i think the american one is or boomerang whatever the uk stuff is mm -hmm. i would definitely do that so it, it's it's worth it's a game that's worth worth it's, it's a promising buying, it's a promising game it's, it's nowhere near oh no, 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 no it's not worth 50 pound okay it's five hours and it's Think it, it, what you got to think of it's six hours at most yeah and that's all you're getting out of this game that's what you got to think i mean so i i'd, I'd describe that as um knack so for, for me i got obviously the ps4 at it's, launch it's better than knack oh no i'm not well. yeah. but, so, but i got the <laughs> ps4 terrible. at launch and i would suggest everybody should play knack from a visual standpoint it is think... a pixar movie as a game it, it looks incredible right but then you play it. But I would, yeah, it's not a game to play. It's a game to just experience and go, oh, this looks really good. This is kind of what the PS4 can do at launch, and this kind of shows you what it could do in the future. So the order is kind of a bit like that. It can, it, it the order, and the order is, wise. if you remember a long time ago, um, Metal Gear Solid 2 released the demo. Yeah. That's what this is. Right. It's the demo that you've got to play. It's, it's Ground Zeroes again, where you've got to pay a fortune for a tech demo. Mm -hmm. They've released demos before. I mean, look at PT. Have you played that yet? No, I still haven't actually. No, it's, it's a phenomenal game. It's an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's free. Probably one of the scariest games of all time. So the and the, the order. So the other, the only other thing I would probably, from what you've been saying, is put the order in a, a like kind of pigeonhole it with is um, Rise on Xbox One. Yeah, that's gameplay wise, game it's kind of yeah, it's right. You know, it's got a shitload of cute, uh, cutie uh, quick time events in it. Um, which I think has, the order's got quite a lot of quick time events in it, isn't it? Oh, the order is quick timed up. The, yeah, it, it's uh, I'll just just to take it. Basically, it's a third person shooter. I'll just describe the game a bit more. I've been getting a bit mad. It's based in Victorian London. Mm -hmm. If technology was a lot more advanced, uh, one of the, your your main developer is Nicholas Tesla. <laughs> okay. You have lightning guns, and there's like a thermite launcher, which is actually a really unique gun when you learn how to use it. And the 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 prob you know the problem with the game is it. it Varies back and forward between sort of quick time, oh, Max Payne, was it? like a quick time, get out of everything quickly, press, 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 and then it goes, okay, and the shooting is slow and you run bad and it's got sticky cover. And... Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, it, it's, <sighs> it's like one of those games, like you said, it's a tech demo. I described Knack is a, is a tech demo for early PS4, Rise <laughs> is the ultimate tech demo for the Xbox One, and it's like the order has just done all that again. Um, yeah. You know, gorgeous. But it's a, it's it sounds like it's a gorgeous looking game from the videos it's, it's, I've seen. It looks incredible. 
I, I never had bugs, I never had a flame, a, flame rate, a frame rate drop, I never had any of those kind of problems. You can tell that they delayed it to work on this stuff, and they've done it really well. But they just haven't spent the time on the story no. and the gameplay. No. You get a lot more... I think there's a lot better games of that sort of genre out there, and there's a lot more sort of... You know what? I mean, whatever you say about Destiny, there's a lot more content in it than Destiny. Oh, sorry, there's a, lot, there's a lot more content in Destiny than that. Yeah. I, I do genuinely worry that when the current... I don't want to call them next-gen because they're current-gen now. So when the PS4 and yeah. the Xbox One launched... We saw a flurry of titles that looked fantastic, were the best looking things on a video game console you've ever played that played like arse. <laughs> and they're I do... the they're, they're, they're basically playable versions of the old PC graphics tests. Yeah, and I, I do really worry that we are starting to see a trend where the amount of money that's being spent on these games, development, is not cheap, but the amount of money they're spending to develop these games, they're spending on the graphics artists and they're spending on tech and making them look fantastic. Whereas, and then you've got Nintendo. Yeah, who that, who haven't got the best looking stuff, but Christ, they've probably got the most. Well, they, they games. have got the best. They haven't got the strongest tech, but I'm sorry, but I've not seen a game. If the Zelda, the new Zelda game, looks anywhere near as good as the demos they show, mm -hmm. I haven't seen a game as pretty as that because it, they they know what they've they know how to use the engines they have and they know how to make them look fantastic. Skyward Sword was on basically somewhere between a GameCube and a PS, not even a PS3, like, so, like a ga two GameCubes tied together, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the prettiest games out there. And it's going to... Skyward Sword is going to look better than oh, God, any of the PS3 launch titles, like the Killzone 2 and things like that, because it's going to age well. And I think that's what Nintendo does so well. Um, the problem is now is that you're having... I mean, I'm not going to... A lot of people are calling this generation gone already, but Naughty Dog haven't released anything yet, so... There's still hope, because they're, they're, they're people who can get every last ounce out of a console. Nintendo just needs to open up the Wii U to more developers. It, yeah. It's, it's a Nintendo store, basically, at the moment, where you go, what do you want on? Well, it's a Nintendo game. Okay, right. I think I think the best thing that could possibly happen in gaming is if uh, Nintendo went console only. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, handheld only and developed for other consoles. I think that's... Mm -hmm. And I'm a Nintendo absolute fanboy but I think that their hardware is so restrictive and that kind of stuff and they're just not good at hardware mm -hmm. I think if you especially since they seem to like Sony these days I think that if you had a, a Sony exclusive Nintendo run I think one that would make Sony win well the Nintendo in terms of the, the best hardware they've ever released was 30 years ago oh it's if you don't count the 3DS or the DS if you don't count those the best thing they ever released arguably was the, the original NES and the Super I'd NES I'd say the Game Boy to be honest well I'm not not counting handhelds. You know, okay. I, I think the original NES, the Super NES. I'm not. I'm not insulting Nintendo's hardware. I mean, my fa my favorite console of all time is the N64. Okay. Yeah. But I think I think the problem is though is that every time Nintendo seems to release something, someone releases something ten times better. Mm -hmm. But the games are. You know, the games are good. It's like that's the, that's the big thing with them. They're, they're they're the best software developer in the world. It's just, and I, I'm going to talk about Nintendo another time because. Amiibos have a lot of problems mm -hmm. and a lot of good things and bad things, and I think we're going to spend 14 hours before we get into the Nintendo cycle. The order, uh, rent it. Yeah, don't buy that's it. Our, it. That's no, it, don't buy that, it. That's my it's take a six. That, yeah. so if you want, to, if you want to score for some bloody reason, six out of ten. Nine out of fifty-two. That's terrible. <laughs> Why did I give it so low? 